And welcome on a rainy night. The heavens opened earlier and it just hasn't relented. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And live action coming up for you from the Turkish Superliga. And what a game this promises to be, Lee. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. A well, real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, Derek, if you're lacking in goals, it not only drains the confidence of the strikers, but also the defenders as well. They know that they have to keep clean sheets. A toothless team is a weak team. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. It does rather look as though it's going to be a battle of the 4-5-1 formations in this game. Similar setups, Lee. Well, it looks lovely in the graphic, doesn't it? There's players everywhere. They have got the freedom to roam around the pitch how they see fit. There is some structure to it, but that lone striker up front needs support, not only around him, but from wide areas of two. The supply line will come from the wide midfield players and maybe the overlapping fullbacks. Furman, Stanku, Zago Toure. They really look after the ball when they have it. Sio, Furman. Toure, Matthias Johansson, Johansson, and a throw in forthcoming. Atama, well, is it going to end up being productive for them? Manuel Fernandes. Good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. So the corner played into the box. Just too close to the goalkeeper in the end, wasn't it? Yeah, poor technique, really, and the goalkeeper's not troubled. Conga. And can they prize them open now? Joseph Atama. Dimitrios Korovetsios. Now Enrique. Joseph Atama. Pedro Enrique. Behic. Manuel Fernandes. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Manuel Fernandes. Wilfried Conga. Manuel Fernandes. 
It's opening up for them. Manuel Fernandes. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Pressure exerted. Can he remain calm? Sio. Stanku. On the ball, Sio. Zago Toure. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically. It's fascinating. Who will buckle first? It might be on for them. Pierre-Yves Poloma. Diego Angelo. Every pass hitting its target. Berat Iber Özdemir. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Manuel Fernandes. This looks promising. Behic. Well, they're eyeing that final puzzle. So the referee blows his whistle for half-time. A tense contest so far, Lee. What have you made of the visitors? Well, Derek, with their inability to be able to put the ball into the net on a regular basis, it's no surprise to me that it's goalless. They just need to up the tempo a little bit, maybe force the issue a little in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Sapunaru. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Christian Sapunaru. Manuel Fernandes. Over the touchline for a throw in. Furman. Berat Iber Özdemir. Stanku. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Matthias Johansson. Johansson, Johansson, Stanku, and threading it forward, an attack full of promise, Pedro Enrique, Manuel Fernandes, chances on, oh it might be, and there it is, 1-0, the efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball, and sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines, but he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Diego Angelo. Pierre Yves Poloma. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Diego Angelo. Stanku. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession, but after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. Pierre-Yves Poloma. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. And a textbook interception. Pedro Enrique, well, there to intercept. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Johansson. Can he finish? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Pressing high to win the ball. Sio. Can they convert? Really important tackle. And just the one minute left in normal time here. This could level it. Really digging in at the back. But still the opportunity. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Lee, your thoughts? Yeah, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little off the pace for me today. It's obviously a disappointing result. But it's key that they bounce back. They can't afford another repeat performance like this next time out.